Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Jasmine Lomax. Welcome back. Well, it's been a perfect fall day and it's still very nice outside. Not a cloud in sight. Currently sitting at 76 with winds out of the east northeast at around five miles and heat indices don't deviate from actual temperatures too much. That's because our dew points are on the lower side. We're in the 50s, so around the area temperatures mainly in the 70s, a little bit warmer in Gonzales at 78. New Orleans sitting at 75, 73 in Kentwood and in Hammond as well. Now overnight we're dropping into the lower 50s, almost 12 degrees below average. It is going to be a little bit chilly overnight with clear skies, but tomorrow it will warm up. We're starting off around 60 at 8 a.m. Lots of sunshine in the picture by 2 p.m. We're at 82. We're looking at a high for the day of around 84, but clear skies persist as we head into the evening hours. We cool back down into the 50s once again. Now here's the current setup. High pressure is dominating our weather pattern and that's keeping us nice and dry with the lower dew points, but a cold front is going to move into the picture tomorrow and again on Monday behind that cold front. However, will be more high pressure and once that begins to build into the area, we'll start to see some warmer temperatures, but still staying below 90. So just a few headlines. Nice and pleasant temperatures are going to continue through much of the week with a mostly dry pattern. Once we head into the weekend, there's a chance for a little bit more moisture, but not too much. It will be mainly confined to the coastal areas and it is very busy in the tropics. So taking a look at tropical storm gamma winds right now at 65 miles per hour, about 35 miles north northwest of Tulum, Mexico. It is expected to enter the Bay of Campeche and stay in that area and it's afterwards it is going to slowly drift westward. The good news is it will not be a threat to us, but there is the chance that some of our coastal areas could see a little bit of moisture from those outer bands. So take a look at the future cast. Really not a cloud in sight for our area over the next couple of days by Tuesday. Still nice and dry, but some of the coastal spots starting to see some more clouds in the picture and possibly some showers. Now what we have to watch is what happens after uh, gamma moves through. There's another system and it looks like it just became a uh, chance for formation is high. Now that's expected to possibly develop into a depression or even a tropical storm within five days and it does have the potential to enter the Gulf of Mexico. So that's an area that we do need to watch. Otherwise, there are two other areas in the Gulf. Both have low chances of formation and the good news is that once these continue to move further west, they're expected to encounter strong winds and that's going to inhibit formation. So again tonight looking at nice and clear skies, chilly temperatures falling to about 52. Winds will be nice and calm. Then tomorrow, a high of 84 with lots of sunshine. So another gorgeous day. Great for any outdoor activities that you may have. Winds will be nice and light. And overall, just a gorgeous fall day once again. And we've partnered with iHeartRadio Baton Rouge to give you your weather on the go. And this is what we're looking at over the next few days. The main thing is lots of sunshine in the picture. On Tuesday, the possibility of just a few clouds. But notice temperatures staying in the lower 80s until we hit the second half of the week. We enter the mid 80s. But by the weekend, we're back in the lower 80s with a chance of storms on Saturday. We'll be right back.